Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Socials Awkward. My name is David Bidel, and I wanted to give you a quick update on what's happening with my T-Rex. I'm just over a thousand miles, so it's a big, big milestone for me. Uh, in the book, it says that you're supposed to break in this engine, and I know that there's a lot of debate online and in the YouTube community whether or not you should actually break in an engine or not break in an engine or if it really matters or if it doesn't matter and it seems to me like the overwhelming consensus on uh, YouTube and in other formats is that uh, engine break-ins are not a real thing and you shouldn't bother with them however uh, I just went ahead and followed the wisdom of the handbook the owner's manual strongly strongly suggests that you do it says that you should do it and uh, you know if nothing else uh, gives you an opportunity to learn how to ride this machine in particular which is way different than a motorcycle way different than a supercar uh, way different than you know your normal driving experience so if anything I was really glad to have given the time to break in this engine if for no other reason than just to get to know the vehicle a little better, how it handled, how it turned. And I can tell you, because I did that, from zero miles to uh, 1,200, which is what I have on there now, just over 1,000, I can tell you that the motor sounds so much different than it does when I first got it. When I first got it, for example, uh, when I was riding in my zero to 500 mile uh, parameters at 4,000 rpm the engine would whine had this really high pitched kind of uh, almost like a, a whistle or, or a yell and I, I, I didn't dislike it but um, it was um, just interesting and once I got around 600 miles that sound kind of waned off so something definitely changed in the motor and then I can tell you again um, you know, between the 500 and 1000 uh, right around uh, 5000 6 6000 rpms there was an, another sound it um, it wasn't like a a knock or a or a tick but it was in that in that realm it's hard really hard to describe um, but I, I spent this whole thousand miles just really listening to the to the motor and once I got just around you know 900 or a thousand miles that sound had also stopped and so I, I really um, just got into what the motor actually sounds like. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a mechanic. I wasn't inside the motor. I can't tell you exactly what happened, but I can tell you uh, for sure that uh, the motor sounds different today. Uh, sounds better, actually, healthier. Um, so whatever that, whatever was going on during that break-in period was, uh, was uh, necessary, in, in my opinion. From zero to 500 miles, you had to keep it at 4,000 RPMs or less. So basically you're going like 40 or 50 miles an hour for 500 miles so not exactly the thrill ride that you might expect um, but these machines are so much fun to ride anyways like even when you're going 40 miles an hour it feels like you're going 100 miles an hour because you're two inches off the ground so um, you know I'm, I'm not really like the rip it up guy I, I do like to, to get into it um, from time to time but for the most part I'm just a pretty chill rider like to just ride around taking the views and just enjoy the ride um, that's kind of phase of life I'm in uh, but just really enjoying it so I had a good time um, and then when I got to the 500 mile mark I, I earned another 2,000 rpm so I was able to take it to 6,000 rpms which is a totally different world in the T-Rex if you guys own one you know what I'm talking about the difference between 4,000 RPMs and 6,000 RPMs is night and day. So I had way, way more fun um, learning uh, how, how the bike handled and what it sounded like, um, taking it to that, that 6,000 mark. And then, of course, uh, once I was over 1,000 miles, I had access to the full motor. I had access to the, the full range of, of RPM. And uh, let me tell you, it was I, – I was of course, I've driven these before – and you know how fun they are um, when, when you drive them because usually you, you test drive on something that's already broken in so you can, you can really play on it pretty hard. And uh, just a, a reminder, I was, you know, get to a thousand miles and I'm like, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that this was as, as exciting, you know, I'm not sure about my, my purchase. Uh, but as soon as I got over a thousand, I was able to kind of play a little bit 
um, you just reminded immediately uh, why uh, you would you would own one of these machines. Just unbelievable. First and foremost, I've been waiting so long to hear how these M4s sound. I, I have an M4 exhaust. I'll, I'll do another video that, uh, another time. But I was waiting to really hear what, what these M4 exhausts were going to sound like. And they sound really good at the low RPMs. But when you get over 6,000 RPMs, especially when you start um, getting into the power band, man, they make a whole different sound uh, that I was really, really pleasantly surprised to hear. So it was like I got to hear their voice for the first time, and, and that was really exciting. Also, uh, what you realize uh, quite quickly is how next level these machines are. They are so fast. In fact, I'm not sure um, anybody needs to go this fast um, that quickly. The, just the acceleration, of course, you guys know that um, you know we don't have a really strong top end necessarily. Uh, of course, I think 150, 155 miles an hour is faster than anybody needs to go. But there are supercars that go much, much faster than that stock. So what we what we lack on the top end, the the T Rex really more than makes up for in the acceleration end and that's really where the fun part of the drive is anyways in my opinion it's just getting sucked back into your seat and one of the things that i really love about the t-rex is I, I had this experience in orlando at universal studios they have a roller coaster called the Velosa coaster and it's um like a jurassic park themed uh roller coaster and about 40 or 45 seconds into the ride you go through this tunnel and this tunnel on, on the tracks has these super powered magnets. And so you're already screaming when you, when you come down the hill and go into that tunnel, but it hits those magnets and you can hear this thing like winding up and just the sound of it is incredible. And it just rockets, you already going really fast and then it just rockets you through the, the rest of the roller coaster. And if you haven't experienced the VelociCoaster, at Universal Studios in Orlando, you, you need to go down there and do that straight away because that is the, the closest that you'll get to riding a T-Rex. So when you're in a T-Rex, you get to do that like in the open, like like out and about because you'll already be going fast and then you hit that, that power band and it, it's like when you hit those magnets in the Velosa coaster, and you can hear that thing charging up and the M4 starts singing and all of a sudden you start shooting through and pretty awesome so um, I am gonna do another video on the power band what the power band is where it is on my t-rex it's gonna be different on every individual motor it's gonna have especially when you're getting real real fine tuning um, which I don't do I just I just work in generalities because I'm just a simple person but um, it, it's gonna be a little different for for everybody but uh, that's one thing I noticed right away from the last 200 miles as I've had access to um, the rest of the uh, tachometer, the rest of my RPMs, um, have really um, been able to uh, hear and, and feel the the full uh, torque and the horsepower, and um, just been a, a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, thousand miles, I'm a little over a thousand, twelve hundred. Uh, everything's uh, looking good. Everything sounds good. Definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, spend the time. Get to know your T-Rex. It doesn't hurt anything anyways just to, you know, take that first 500 and 1,000 miles uh, slowly as you uh, really start to figure this out. But if you don't use this time carefully, that you could end up with a, a broken down engine instead of a broken in engine. And those problems don't typically manifest until thousands and thousands of miles later when you get little leaks and other other things happening uh, in your motor. Uh, so far, so good. Everything's going great. Having a great time. Looking forward to some nicer weather. Hope you found this video helpful. I can't wait to see you guys out on the road. Happy riding.